Hey YouTube, Mike here, that tankless guy. How are we all doing today? I hope we all had a safe and productive two weeks. Yeah, I, I took a week off um, because I had to collect stuff um, for the new channel. And today we will be doing starting uh, video one on a series on the Navian units. All right, what we have here is an NPN160, okay? They have um, a few different models out there, but this is their non-condensing exterior model. All right, so they make a 160, a 180, and a 199. They also make an NPNU, which is universal, which is an indoor model. It just like has the vent with the condensate on the, back, uh, on the side, you know, it doesn't have the um, louver in the front or the louvers on the bottom here. Um, it's made for inside, but also outside. But that we'll be touching on in another video. Right now, we're going to go over the exterior and we're going to go over uh, the different components of it. Now, no installation. That'll be at another video. All right. So, these units, um, you're going to order either natural or propane. Okay. So let's go, we're gonna start with the box. The unit comes in what I can consider a very good secure box. Very well packaged. It has the, let me just make sure I'm not, I'll get my stuff in my pockets here. On the side of the box, you have the NG or the LP, which would designate the fuel, the model number, a serial number. It even gives you, and I'll put the box right so it's in the right configuration, bottom and top. But the box opens like this, so it lays down and opens. But, look at the styrofoam in here. So, the unit is sandwiched between these two pieces of styrofoam inside the box, which heavily protects it. Now, it is not a one-man removal of this unit out of here. This thing has very little play inside the box. You need two people to remove this, especially on their condensing ones, which weigh about 80 pounds. So it is highly recommended two people remove this out of the box. There is two um, kind of light, lightish green tie straps that tie this down and it's taped. I took it out of the box so we didn't giggle watching my son and I remove it out of the box. But it is a very, very well packaged unit. Now, Navion actually manufactures 90% of their unit. When the unit leaves the factory, just like pretty much all tankless heaters, they are test fired. But they're also weighed so that they know nothing is missing inside that box. And there's a whole series of photographs taken of the unit before it's put into the box to show that it did not leave the factory damaged. So to me, that's pretty good quality control. Now, we have installed um, a bit of them. And I find they to be very nice units. But we're gonna go through and I'll show you what really makes this unit good. Okay? Now again, I am only I'm doing this because I want to give more people on my channel more of a variety. I am not stopping my Renat. This I want to go over. We're going to start with the non-condensing and then we're going to get into the condensing units. And we're going to do the same way that my channel was showing the units in steps. All right. So, as you can see, it's white in color. The... Um, Left side of the unit gives you the dimensions of how to put it, where to put it, dimensions for front, back, side, at the top here. 
then it gives you the safety and then it gives you that danger flammable all right on this side of the unit gives you the uh, rating your um, water column it gives you your serial number your energy guide it gives you your BTUs and of course the model number all right so exhaust air intake if you look at these two black lines right here let me just zoom in here now this is more so for the inside unit but we have a black line there and a black line there I made those lines to show you the distance of the center of the hanging hole top to the center of the hanging hole bottom and that is 25 and a half inches so that is more so for the indoor unit when you're going to mount it on some either two by fours or some plywood all right the unit does not come with a valve kit none of their units come with a valve kit so you have to purchase a valve kit separately i have a navion valve kit here i'll show you what their valve kit looks like but you do get you don't get a cigar in the box. You do get some mollies and screws. You get these three rubber caps. And they will cap off the two screws at the top. And it actually has a latch at the bottom. But I, and we'll take the camera off and go over that. You get an interior controller. But you're going to see when we take this door off, there's a controller right on the other side of the door which you're going to get and we're going to take apart the controller and show you what's in there and then you get an installation manual you get a user manual and then you get a warranty the warranty for residential is one year labor five years parts 15 years on the heat exchanger for a uh, commercial is one year um, parts parts uh, you know one year labor five years parts warranty and uh, five years on the um, heat exchanger then if you have an unconnected recirculation line for residential is one year warranty on the labor three years on parts five years on the heat exchanger and on commercial you still get the one year labor three years on parts and three years on the warranty on the uh, excuse me heat exchanger so that is what comes with um it's good because you can actually take one of these your installation manual and leave the user's manual with your customer so you have a manual when you're going to go service your unit. And then you get this indoor controller. Comes with two screws. And they, it comes with a plate that mounts to... Um, an electric box your wire gets fed through the bottom hole it clips in and then you get I think it's around 25 feet of um, it's the Navi remote control wire and you have one end that plugs into the actual controller and again they're pushed to remove plugs and the other end plugs into a two-prong on the actual control board behind this white cover that is what all comes in inside the box so now we're going to take the camera off and show you you have your gas you have your um, cold water your hot water your filter we're going to take the filter off once we get the um, door off and I'll show you the filter but on the bottom here you have a latch which is unlatches the bottom 
and then you have two screws at the top. They're not machine screws. They're almost like um, self-tap um, metal screws. And then the cover comes right off. It does not have any type of manual inside. What it gives you is the wiring diagram here and it gives you the trouble codes. And the trouble codes are different, but we're going to go through the trouble codes in a future video. Now, the actual... Put these right here. All right. The screws and the O-rings are American. So if you happen to lose a screw, like I bought a full box of metric and American SAE screws and metric and American O-rings. I keep them on both of our trucks. We need them, we don't have them, we lose them. But these are all American. If you don't have one, you can always run to like Ace Hardware or Lowe's or Home Depot and, and get another matching screw, okay? All right, so here is the inside of the unit. As you can see, there is a control panel mounted on this already inside the unit. Now, you can let this thing run with the control panel right here, or you can plug into the side of this with that cord and run it to the other side of the wall, or you can actually, up to, I think it's 100 feet, you can nip off the ends, both ends, you know, leave a little bit, and splice it to 18.2, electrical wire, the wire that I always stress to run your remotes in, and you can bring them into the house. You can s put multiple controllers together on this. This unit does have recirculation capability with a dedicated return line. Um, all right, the unit is entire stainless steel. So the heat exchanger and the burner are both stainless steel. So let's go through the parts here inside this unit. All right. In this bottom left-hand corner is the PC board. The PC board, if you have an external pump, gets actually, they sell a separate wire that will get plugged into this PC board that you can wire to the pump. And then through the dip switches right here, there is dip switches in here, but you have dip switches here that you could set the pump cycles, depending on what you want. You have your gas valve. There is gas solenoids in the back and behind here. This is your actual burner plate, your, your manifold, your orifices back here. Your burner is back there, your heat exchanger your igniter transformer, your ignition cable, your flame sensor, you have um, inlet and outlet thermistors, you have a uh, heat sensor, overheat controller in the back, thermal fuse, um, this is your water servo valve, your water mixing valve and servo valve here, this is your hot water outlet tube, stainless steel, this is your freeze protection, you have your freeze protection sensor right here. Now, again, the wiring is all same plug will only match the other plug, male will match female. But this wiring, if you notice, goes in a C. There is no wires here besides this ground, your PC board, but everything comes around the unit like this, right here. Now, this is a brand new unit. We won't be taking this unit apart. I will be getting carry uh, condemned units, which will be going about doing all of the different changes. Uh, water servo valve, controller, PC board, gas valve, cleaning the, ther uh, cleaning the water servo valve, heat exchanger, cleaning the burner. We'll be doing all that. This right now is an overview. Uh, front plate, sight glass for see your burner, the outlet, hot water outlet with your thermistor and an overheat in the back. Uh, there is some 
uh, temperature insulation here on this cold water pipe right here. They give you directional arrow with this, uh, uh, excuse me, blue stickers. See, um, it gives you direction this way. And then over here, there's another blue one in the back, which gives you a direction up into the heat exchanger. And then they wrap it. And what I believe they wrap it is for like um, condensation. All right, you have your fan or your, 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 your excuse me, your, your air pressure switch right here on the bottom. There's your tube, and then your fan is right back here. I'll zoom this in, and we can get a little better shot of this. So, there is your water servo, your water inlet right here, your fan, controller, pressure switch, hot water outlet, cold water inlet, this is your igniter transformer. All right, let me just get up, pan up a little bit here. Okay. Igniter. Flame sensor. Two screws. We'll remove it. Same deal. To clean it. Um, exhaust. Even your exhaust, have, they have stainless steel screws in them. All right. A little better shot. Okay. So, a nice compact unit, but the good thing with this, especially for me down here in Florida, is that the heat exchanger is all stainless steel, and I do a lot of these by the water and by the ocean. So that's where I've been putting them. And then we, others we do in inland. So this is um, more freeze protection in the back on the cold water. And then your screws, it appears to be one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's six screws that hold, six, seven, eight screws it appears that holds the heat exchanger in. Now the um, wiring, when we get the camera down at the bottom, I'll show you the wiring. Uh, there's rubber grommets in here. <clears throat> you can cascade these together. So these can be put in a commercial application and you can link multiple units together. That again will be going over in the future. Uh, but there's all grommets here, there's three of them. Again, we'll take the camera off, we'll get up and close to it. And then right here, let me just, I'll show you, this is where you would test your high-low gas fire right here. So your gas test on your actual gas valve. And then there's one right on the gas inlet. And it's the same style with the cup that your menomina will fit over. All right, let's take the camera down and um, I'll show you the rest and then we'll look at the valve kit. Give me a second here. Okay, so here is a good close-up of the unit. Under the unit, here is your gas inlet, and they actually have a warning. This unit is configured for use with natural gas. That's your electric. There is two screws, and then there's actually a there's a, a receiver back here that this thing will click in so you can catch your screws so you're not fumbling with the screws. Here's your cold water, here is your hot water, and that is your filter. No, my filter removal tool will not fit in this. It's a different style filter. We're gonna take that out right now and I'll show it to you. Here is the side of the unit. And they give you the full, all the rating. 
There's your model number, your serial number, your energy guide, and then on this side, they give you your dimensions, and then your for safety, and your flammable. And then that is your mounting ports. They give you a hanging mounter. As you can see here, they adjust off the wall. This will adjust to come off the wall, both top and bottom. Okay, the bottom one too. And it's 25 and a half inches from there to there. All right. Let me get this back on. All right. There we go. Hello. All right. So it's 81% efficient. Here's the brochures that you can get, or the brochure that you can get with from Navian. That is the indoor model or the universal model, NPEU universal, and then NPEE exterior. They they are Wi-Fi compatible. It's called NaviLink. That is what the heat exchanger would look like. The whole parts. Burner heat exchanger. Actually excuse me, burner heat exchanger. Again, universal or indoor. See, it's got the little condensate line. And they sell a condensate trap. You can do it with tube. It'll have the, they have their own venting. We're going to show you in a second here. Okay. You have a descaler. That's a vent hood for the universal only. You can actually put an outdoor indoor unit outside. Your valve kit, valve cover. Uh, in the wall box, external controller, your uh, uh, cascade cable, your Navi link, um, your neutralizer, then they make a 45, an elbow, they make um, a condensate trap kit, a bracket, a pitch roof and flat roof, vertical, 11.5 and a 21 inch horizontal, but they only make a 10 and a 39, right? Yeah, 39 on the piping. And then in the back, they give you all the specs. The brochure, pretty much standard with all the, you know, tankless companies. They're pretty much standard. All right, so let's look at their valve kit. And again, just like all tankless companies, they, they have their own valve kit. Um, so, little instruction packet. We angle this over. Cold water. The Union half style. got an o-ring it's got an o-ring in it flush ports it's got a brass stem hot water of course is longer same with the o-ring retainer that holds the cap on for your flush port, large washer inside. Pretty much standard, like all valve kits. And then your pressure relief valve, which screws right into the hot water end of it. All right. 
Now, the um, the door. So to put this thing back on, and I'll show you what the rubber caps are for. It has the foot uh, the machine. There's a clip on the bottom. Get my drill. Flip that, doors on, and now they give you these three caps, spare parts kit, and they got a whole big, huge number. And basically, you put one there, one here, and one down here and now it covers the screws and the bottom clip from the elements I don't know if you can see the one on the bottom but it's right there in the middle Yeah, right here. So it clips for the bottom. Now, Navion does not sell online. Nowhere. You cannot buy it from supplyhouse.com. You cannot buy it from Big Frog. So all those places that I have told you about, forget about it. You can't, they do not sell them. If they find that you buy it online, they will void the warranty. Now it's pretty much the same with all the companies, but they're real strict. So I am in the process of receiving from them a list per state of who sells. Ferguson sells them, so if you have a Ferguson, you can pick it up from there. But I'm getting a list of distributors and I'll then get a list of um, wholesalers that I can let you know if you message me, I'll let you know what, um, well, who sells them. And then you can purchase them from there. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice unit. Um, I just wanted to be a little bit more you know, I wanted to give a little bit more to my to my customers. Because like I mentioned in a, a previous video, this is probably the second most question that I would receive from um, uh, subscribers or from, from viewers about a Navion unit. And I never even really looked at them before. And when I went to the Builder Show, I sat down and met with a few of them and looked at the units there and then did a bit of research and then we tried one and it was nice so I want to add this to the uh, to the list of um, and that's why I changed the name of the channel and I want to be able to do the, the like the take or the metal and demand pump system I want to be able to do other things that I can basically show and not feel bad because the channel was named the, the Rai guy <clears throat> all right so um, my email will be below as always um, I'll post the model numbers and everything in the email below pricing you're gonna have to call for pricing as far as what the, to get a price on these units the um, uh, whoop, the channel now we're in the process of um, uh, we're gonna be um, we will have a, a swag page so uh, stickers shirts hats even stickers that say Bob's your uncle 
Uh, so look forward to that. I'm in the process right now of working with someone for the um, website, which uh, will have much more detailed training videos on it. So we'll see what, ha what comes about in the future. But um, all right, I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, um, next week, we're gonna actually move this thing up to where the taller, and we're gonna do a mock-up install of it, gas, water relief and then we're gonna uh, hopefully i'll get the condemned units in and then we'll start tearing the unit apart a little at a time all right youtube i hope you enjoyed the video again i'd like to thank everybody for all those subscribes the likes the comments again i'm greatly appreciative of it all right you'll be safe out there and i'll see you on the next video bye bye now